What's up guys, in this video I'll explain you how you can make your own trading playbook page right inside of Notion completely for free, completely customizable. I'll walk with you step by step on how to set something like this up yourself from scratch. It's really really easy. Um, you guys know I'm a Notion lover, I basically organize my entire life inside of this platform. This is not a trading journal. Um, the difference is this is just where you display all of your best setups, your best models, your best A plus setups um, to basically look back into once in a while, filter through it and basically see what you need to look for every day in the market. So how you can do this is really, really simple. Let's go through this step by step. So if you don't already have Notion installed, do it. I recommend downloading the desktop version. And then once you have downloaded it, you'll go to the top right click on this icon to create a new page. Let's call this playbooks, add an icon, whatever, not really important, but change the cover. And most important thing is we're gonna create a database. So click slash table, click on database table view and click on the plus new table. Call this table also playbooks and the most important thing is, so this is a database, right? Notion is super famous for their nice databases. In my video on how to create a journal, we basically leave it like this, right? We just add the trades, the, the RR of your trading journal, or you wanna switch this to a calendar view. But for this case, you wanna switch the layout view, not to a calendar, not to your list, but to a gallery, because this is the nicest way to display your playbooks, right? So after that, I recommend going to the three dots on the top right and toggle on this full width. Now you have like four of these playbooks next to each other or like five, I don't know. This way will be better. Um, it reduces a lot of white space. So now we can add um, properties to each gallery item, to each playbook, right? So click on this and it will create a new page. And for the title, you want to basically choose whatever you want, whatever it's most important to um, title the playbook item, right? So for me, it's the date. I want to see um, when this playbook um, happened immediately. That should be the title for me. Um, so let's call this, for example, 22nd of um, February, 2024. And now let's create the most important property, which is the playbook, right? So click on this, rename playbook. It should be a, not a multi-select, it should be a select. You wanna select your playbook whenever you add a new playbook, right? Now let's create the options. Let's say your most, your best model that you trade every day is like an hour four fair value gap plus SMT, right? Let's say you also have a model that's called um, minute 15 order block plus liquidity sweep. Right, something like this. And then let's add the last one. Let's say maybe breaker plus um, order block in AM session, whatever. Like it's not really important. I'm just doing some random shit. Um, but you do and adjust this to whatever your models are, right? So then next time we add a new playbook, we can select from our playbooks, right? And I will show you how we can then display it right here on your already on your gallery item without even clicking on this. So now we have that and how you can basically make sure that we have a thumbnail right here is you just basically paste a chart right here. So I'm just gonna copy this from my existing playbooks. Uh, just gonna control C I think that works. So right now you see if you click um, go to your playbook page, you'll see that it will be right here. Now we can add the icon because otherwise it will be like an ugly thing right here. We can add an icon to our playbook, maybe just something like this. And now we see, okay, this is our playbook from 22nd of February. And this is the, the image, right? Now this is just a thumbnail. So I recommend if you actually want to see the setup, um, you go to here and you basically double click or you can basically download whatever you want. I think on the top here, yeah, download. Uh, you can crop whatever you want. You can caption it if you want more information here. But this is the most important thing, actually. Now, we are almost done with the base. We want to make sure that the playbook name is displayed right here. So how we do this is we are going to go to the three dots right here on our database settings. 
and we want to go to properties you see there's only one shown and that's the name right if you don't want to display the name which is the title we display the title as the date we want to do like this right it's just something earlier you don't want to do this but you want to add a another property which is a playbook right so you want to unhide this now we have this now this is basically everything you need to know um you can basically just create new setups add a new playbook right here call this um third of uh, march 2024 let's say this is the um breaker plus order block playbook now we have this let's give it an icon and now you can start building your playbooks. Now, what you can do is you can filter through these options. So let's say we want to distinguish the minute 15 order block playbook with the breaker playbook. Then you can go to the three dots right here and you can basically group based on playbook, right? And now you can see that you will have the breaker setups right here and the minute 15 order block setups right here, right? And you can start to imagine if you have like a crazy ass database right here, it can become something really, really interesting. You can group by something else, whatever. But let's add new properties so we can filter based on more things and we can add more information to our playbooks, right? How you do this is, again, you just click on one of the pages. Doesn't matter if you update on this, it will update on this as well. Um, and we wanna add something else right so let's see what what i get right here as well i have a conviction a date a risk to award a higher time frame chart i want to have a trading view link whatever so i think one interesting thing you can do is we, let's create a new property is your um rating right so let's do a i think a number thing for this yeah let's do a number let's change the icon to uh maybe chart icon and then let's call this rating now you want to show the number format as a ring because then you have like a rating with like a circle so it's, if it's like 8 on 10 you'll see that it's almost like filling uh, so i think it's really nice to have so right now you can basically um click on this and you set, say this is an 8 on 10 it's like a, a 9 on 10 setup then you do 9 and you have something like this now the reason why this is not correct is we should change some settings right here let's see we should divide it by one, I think. No, we should divide it by 10. Yeah, I think that's it. If we now go seven, yeah, that makes sense. So now it's really, really nice to have. Um, we can add the rating to our playbook. Now, another thing that's really nice to have maybe is, let's say you wanna filter through date. You can do it by the name but maybe for safety let's add a date property as well so we can do um date and then the format should just be date that's all right i think you don't need to add anything now we can move these properties whoever we want and let's make sure it's also the um third of march whatever right so now you can also filter through this, like I explained how you can group these things. Um, maybe let's add a last one that may be interesting. It's a trading view link. Let's say you don't want to um, only have it accessible right here, but also on trading view. Then you can add a new property and do an URL. And then let's call this trading view link. And then, yeah, whatever, right? You can paste the link here. You guys get the point and then it's clickable and you can go. It will open a new tab on a new page. So um, that's basically it. Um, you can do whatever you want with this. Um, now, like I showed you already, you can display these things all so on here. So how you do this is you go again on the three dots and you go to properties and you will also, let's say you also wanna show the date, but we also ha already have it right here. So it's not really necessary. Let's say the, what one thing we want to display is not the date but the um trading view link so we can directly click on this and we want to also display the rating i think this is really nice to have so let's say this one has a rating of nine now you see we, we are starting to build something really really interesting here you can basically do whatever you want from here um it's all yours um you can start building your crazy ass playbook arsenal um you got everything you need you can group these things you can add new properties do whatever you want with it and yeah if you like this video just make sure to thumbs up 
and if you have any questions i'll be happy to help you out inside of the comments so just ask your question there i'll help you out i hope this helps your trading journey and i'll see you in the next one peace out